Your Los Angeles City Fire Department has prided itself on ensuring firefighters look professional while providing service to the citizens of Los Angeles. Over 15 years ago, the department decided to develop a policy that required all members to cover their tattoos, branding, or scarification, regardless of where they're located on a member's body. Now, the idea was that displaying tattoos may be perceived by the public as unprofessional. In fact, the LAFD does not hire any new firefighters who may have tattoos that are not able to be covered by a bandage, a skin patch, or a long sleeve shirt. Now, the current LAFD tattoo policy states that all sworn members while on duty shall not display any tattoo scarifications and or brandings and shall cover them by wearing a department approved uniform or skin patch. So this requires LAFD members to wear long sleeve shirts at all times, regardless of the climate, if those members have tattoos on their arms. Over the past decade, tattoos in general have become more acceptable to the public. The number of LAFD members and firefighters entering the training academy who are required to cover their tattoos has also grown significantly since the implementation of our tattoo policy. And firefighters have noted several negative effects resulting from the policy, such as operational and response challenges, a lack of acceptance and inclusion, uh, and heat-related issues. And recently, the military has changed their tattoo policy to allow different branches to display tattoos on any part of the body, excluding the head, neck, and hands. And several other agencies locally have adopted similar policies. So the LAFD is seeking input from the public to possibly revise the department's tattoo policy. And therefore, we've placed a public survey on LAFD social media to gain your thoughts on the topic. All the data will be collected, reviewed, and will assist in any potential changes to our current policy. And we value the public's view, and we thank you for sharing it with your Los Angeles City Fire Department.